Hey, today we're going to dive into 28 reasons that photographers stay poor. This is based on Charles Munger's theory on inversion thinking. It's basically you're going to solve the problems in reverse. Let's get into it. I have notes. All right. 28 ways to stay a poor, unsuccessful photographer by Steve Carty based on Charles Munger. All right. Number one, procrastination. Always say that you'll start tomorrow. Guaranteed way to become a poor, unsuccessful photographer. Number two, inaction. Read lots of books, but do nothing. Perfect. I got tons of books that I need to read. I'm going to read them all and do absolutely nothing with the education that I've now learned. Number three, poor advice. Take advice from unsuccessful photographers on how to be a successful one. Perfect. Number four, unsupportive spouse. Choose a partner who makes you feel guilty for working on your photography. Perfect. It's like an amazing way to actually become unsuccessful as a photographer. Number five, fear of failure. If you fail once, quit forever. It's a guaranteed way to be a poor, unsuccessful photographer. Number six, blame game. Blame your circumstances. It's definitely not your fault that your photography isn't getting better. It's for sure the camera. It's for sure your software. It's for sure the people who are teaching you. Don't blame yourself. Number seven, complaining. Lamenting on things you can't control. Let's go. Lament on things you can't control. That's beautiful. Dependency. Number eight, expect the government or someone else to save you. Perfect. Dependency. A guaranteed way that you'll be a poor, unsuccessful photographer. Let's get into another one. Number nine, external validation. Value others' perception of your success more than your own perception of your success. Number 10, avoid discomfort. Make sure you stay in your comfort zone. It's definitely a way that you can become a poor, unsuccessful photographer. Number 11, mediocrity. Tolerate less excellence. Tolerate less than excellence. It's another way to say it. Number 12, broken promises. Continually break promises to yourself. Do that. Number 13, perfectionism. Wait for the perfect conditions to start your photography career. Do that. Guaranteed, poor, unsuccessful photographer. Superficiality. Confuse looking rich with being rich. Be superficial. Number 15, distractions. Avoid working on what truly matters. Avoid working on what truly matters to your photography career. Don't do what you should be doing. Number 16, inconsistency. Start new tasks without seeing through the old ones. Number 17, others' opinions. Value others' opinions over your own. Do that. Number 18, repeating mistakes. Do the same ineffective actions, expecting different results. That's a perfect one for photographers. That's a definite one that will guarantee poor unsuccessfulness. Number 19, a lack of adaptability. Insist on needing a degree or specific qualifications for success. I can't be a pro photographer. I never went to photography school. Make sure that that's your reason. Avoidance. Find reasons not to be successful at photography. Avoidance. Find reasons. It's a way you can guarantee yourself and your result being poor and an unsuccessful photographer. Number 21 not promoting or selling, neglecting sales. If you're not promoting or selling your product or service actively, 
It's a perfect way to guarantee you'll be a poor and unsuccessful photographer. Stopping successful actions. That's number 22. If something works, stop doing it. Easy breezy. Number 23, poor time management. Not maximizing the time available. Netflix and chill, yo. Number 24, assuming infallibility. Always assume that you're right in every photography situation. The client's not right. I'm right. Always assume you're right in every interaction, in every meeting, every time you're dealing with someone else. You're right. Number 25, not being open to learning. Close yourself off to new information. Make sure you do that immediately and you'll guarantee your unsuccessful poor self can continue. Number 26, financial mismanagement. Constantly spend more than you earn. Make sure that you're mismanaging your finances. Number 27 goes with number 26, which is living beyond your means. Upgrade your lifestyle without upgrading your income. Perfect. Make sure you have that R5, even if you have R50 money. And number 28, short-sightedness. Make sure that you are not focusing on the long-term consequences of your actions. Make sure you're not thinking long-term. Don't focus long, focus short, and you will guarantee failure and unsuccess and poverty. Okay, that's 28, 28 reasons, 28 ways that you can guarantee unsuccessfulness as a photographer. Now, you know, by reversing these habits and mindsets and avoiding common pitfalls that most new photographers fall into, you can achieve success almost unintentionally. For some photo brains, it's more about what you shouldn't do than what you should do. So to be clear, let's do a fast run through through this list so you can see the ways that you should be doing things. Yeah? All right. Number one, procrastination. Don't procrastinate. Don't say that you can start tomorrow. Do that stuff today. Number two, inaction. Read lots of books and act on the stuff that you learn in those books. Number three, poor advice. Take advice from poor people on how to be rich. Uh-uh. Surround yourself with successful photographers and you'll learn how to wield the camera and be successful like them. Number four, unsupportive spouse. Choose a partner who makes you feel guilty for working. No, fall in love with a partner that supports everything that you do, encourages you, and supports your artistic endeavors as a photographer. Fear of failure. Number five, if you fail once, quit forever. Yo, we fail every frame that's not an 11. Every time we shoot, 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 shoot a picture, every time that it's not 100% perfect, that's a failure. But guess what? We shoot another, we shoot another, we shoot another, we shoot another, and we get that perfect picture. Don't be afraid of failure. Shoot through the picture and don't be afraid of failure. Number six, the blame game. Blame your circumstances. Oh my God, take responsibility for your own actions. Take responsibility for your own failures as a photographer and do the things to correct them. Number seven, complaining. Don't complain about the things that you can't control. Work on noticing the things about yourself that you can. Number eight, dependency. Don't expect the government or anyone else to save you. This whole photography thing, it's on you. External validation. Don't value other people's perception of you over your own personal value. What other people think of you doesn't matter. Number 10, avoiding discomfort. Outside your comfort zone is where creativity lives. All your best ideas come from when you're in a new place, when you're traveling. So get outside your comfort zone. 
mediocrity. Number 11, tolerate less than excellence. We can only focus on the spectacular as a photographer. If you're thinking about anything less, you're not working hard enough. You're not trying hard enough. Broken promises. Don't break promises to yourself and don't break promises to other people. That's a guaranteed way that you're going to fail. If you say you're going to deliver something on time, deliver it on time. Perfectionism. There are no perfect times. If you have 70% of the information, start. You'll never have 100% of what you need to know to begin to be a pro. So just start. Superficiality. Don't be superficial. Don't confuse those posers who are walking around looking rich. Don't confuse those photographers driving the flashy cars. Don't think that that means they're successful. All they're doing is showing you external. Distractions. Make sure that you focus on what truly matters, what's truly going to advance you to the next level with your photography. Anything else is just a distraction. Inconsistency, which is number 16. Don't be inconsistent. Start tasks, finish task, start new task. Once you get more experienced, you can have multiple projects going at once and be kind of working on all of them at the same time. But when you're new, you need to start something and take it to the finish line. That's what photography is all about. 17 was others' opinions. Don't value other people's opinions. No one else's thoughts matter except for you and those that you love. And if those that you love and their thoughts, they're not supporting you, go back to up there where don't marry someone who's not supporting you. Repeating mistakes. That's number 18. Don't repeat things that you know aren't working. It's pointless. Just take a different way around. Step back, have a new perspective. Number 19, that word was perspective. <laughs> number 19, lack of adaptability. There's no need for a degree to become a photographer. What you need is a mentor. What you need is a coach. What you need is a workshop. And what you need is the right creators to watch to help you get to the next level. Avoidance. Stop avoiding this. Photography is an amazing way to make money if you work hard enough. So stop <laughs> avoiding reasons to make money. <laughs> Neglecting sales. If you want to be successful as a photographer, you have to do two things. Number one, passively sell, meaning you have a website, you have social media, you do those things, your work is out there, people can find you. Number two, actively sell. You actually have to be finding people that could use your services and giving them that five point step system that I've talked about before to go through with cold calling people or cold e emailing people and let them know what value you can bring to them. Stopping successful actions. If something works, stop doing it. Guaranteed. Please do that. Poor time management. Don't use the time available to do photography, to research photography, to look at the masters. Sit on your hands and do nothing. Scroll your phone. Be on TikTok. Come on now. Use your time effectively. Any free moment, I got a podcast in my ear, I'm listening and I'm looking at photography or I'm looking at my own photography or I'm working on pictures or I'm doing client work. Maximize the time available. Number 24 was assuming infallibility. Don't always assume that you're right. In fact, the beginning of knowledge is admitting that you know nothing. I know nothing about photography. I've been doing it for literally 40 years. I've been doing it professionally for 30. Picked up a camera when I was 14. And believe me, I learn every time I pick it up and every time I look through it. Number 25, not being open to new learning. Don't close yourself off to information. There's information everywhere. And as I said, you learn every single day. Number 26 was financial mismanagement. Don't spend more than you earn. Spend on two things. Number one, spend on equipment that either makes you money or number two, saves you money. And it's okay to buy used as long as it's tech that's modern tech. Don't buy a DSLR. They're ancient and discontinued. Number 27, living beyond your means. Don't upgrade your lifestyle without upgrading your paycheck. If you're not balling out and have money falling out of your pockets, why are you driving that flash car? If you have Malibu money, don't drive a Ferrari. 
And the last point was short sightedness, not focusing on the long term. You got to look at the long picture, make a plan, have an overview of the year, an overview of your career and break it down. <sighs> that was a long one. If this type of content has got your ears up and you're all tingling, I'm easy to find. I got lots of stuff like this on YouTube. I've got 30 years pro experience in this game and I've got lots to say. By the way, make sure you check the video description of the video you're watching right now. There's gold there. And watch one of these videos next. Thanks for your time. See you soon.